Hey, what's up guys? Guys, in today's video, we'll create a client-side search engine for a lightning data table in our lightning component. Guys, client-side search engine allow user to search within the page from the client side itself. Like, let's say, suppose if we are already having 100 records queried from the database and now I wish to search for a particular name from those 100 records. So I don't have to write a separate query. I don't have to send the request again and again to the server to get the data because I'm already having that data on my page itself. So instead of that, I will use the client side search to uh, sort the data from the page itself because I'm already having the data from the requested page. So guys, let's start this video. I'm Kapil, your host, and you are watching Salesforce Bolt. All right, guys. So for today's demo, guys, first of all, you have to log in into your developer org and uh, open the developer console so guys today we'll be implementing the client side search functionality into a lightning data table so for that first of all we need a lightning data table so i'm just going to copy the code of lightning data table from one of my blog here you can just directly go to my blog salesforcebull.com and search for the data table then you will be getting the list of examples of lightning data table so i'm just choosing this one add sorting in lightning data table in lightning component okay so let's copy the code quickly and create a new lightning data table first okay here's my developer console let's create apex first So let's copy the Apex code. Okay. All right, guys. So using the Apex, I'm just getting a list of accounts, which is ordered by uh, created it. Okay. Let's save it. Okay. Let's copy the component part now. component that's available it for lightning tab and pages and all of the op other options okay so this is my component let's paste the code of component and change the apex class name here okay so i have changed the controller name and as well as we are having controller and helper also so let's copy that as well so this is my controller here it is okay and this is my helper all right guys so component is ready let's check the output first okay my component name is lightning dt okay let's save it and See the preview okay guys so we are having list of uh, accounts here and we are having sorting here because i have implemented the sorting code as well so today guys we'll be customizing this lightning component and we will implement the client side data search in it okay so let's start with the component part first all right okay guys so in component part first of all we will have another list uh, to store all the records uh, from the database so let me just create a list here so i will create a attribute let's name it all data and the type will be list all right 
okay now uh, let's add the search bar above the lightning data table so this is my lightning data table let's add a span tag here okay now let's add a lightning input we are adding a search type input here and let's label search okay let's add a placeholder as well search from accounts all right and id uh, let's make it search box okay now the last thing uh, there will be a on change function to implement the search so let's add a on change here so this is my on change event and okay let's create a function so my function name will be search table okay so let's create this function in javascript controller all right let's copy the remaining code okay guys so our function is also ready okay we are not getting any error let's check the output ones so this is our search bar guys and it's looking good all right now let's implement the on change event code uh, before that guys we have to get the data into this uh, all data attributes so i yes we are getting the data from this helper so let's go to helper again so yeah, here it is so our attribute name was all data and we will be getting the same result so guys we are having two separate variables here because uh, in one variable we will be having the complete data and the and in the other one we will be getting the sort data okay so let's save this all right now let's get back to the controller okay so in controller guys we will be doing the client side sorting based on the based on our lightning search bar so let's do the code in controller now first of all we will we will store all the records into variable and our records was in all data okay all right now let's uh, get the data from the search bar itself okay so we are having the data from the search bar now and let's convert it to upper case so all the result will be in upper case okay all right now guys we have to uh, create a loop on records to fetch the particular search criteria of of those records so let's create a i think we can have a array here to store the data uh, let's check it out okay let's create the loop now
okay guys so in our component we'll be doing the search using the name and phone number and you can implement the implement more columns in it also so in my example i will be using the name and phone number only okay so let's search if we will search for each record the account name and let's search for the upper case value as well to search the particular uh, character guys we will be using index of like if if it, if it's find index of uh, like suppose if we search c and if it's find c into the name then it will return the record so we will do the index of search filter and we will check if the index is not null okay so this will be our first record let's add it into bracket all right guys and also we'll be doing the search using the phone number so let's copy it from here the field name is phone so we'll just add the field name here okay so we have added the search criteria now let's add the condition here let's add the value uh, in our temporary array okay so we'll push the particular value if it is having the index of the search filter into our temporary array okay so this will be the if condition this will be your loop now we will uh, set the value into our record list attribute component dot set let me just check the attribute name once again okay the attribute name is record list all right okay so our search table function is also ready let's test it once and hope we didn't get any error okay so we are not getting any error here let's start the search using the name first let's search for test records only okay so okay guys as you can see the records are getting sorted based on my search characters so we are having all test records here like as you can see uh, this record is having test in the middle this is having an at the end these are having at the beginning let's search for my name all right guys it's working absolutely fine here let's search by the number okay i think we are having only two records here so let's search for the eight we will be getting the second record and when we search for nine we'll be getting the third record let's try it one more time okay and let's search for nine all right okay guys it's working absolutely fine okay so i will be posting uh, the complete code on my blog guys i will be writing the blog for it by tonight and you can just go to my blog which is salesforcebold.com and there will be new article by tomorrow and you can get the complete code from there as well all right guys so that's it for today and i hope you learned something new
Hey guys, I hope you liked today's video. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below. Also, let me know if you have any query in the comment section below, guys. I'll try to revert back as soon as possible. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.